too. Oh my god. I'm gonna sneeze again. I gotta do th make this video. Do this. Because I fucking logged on to Yahoo and I saw this article. Thickest, oldest Arctic ice is melting. NASA data. So they measured it. It's melting. The Arctic's gonna melt. The Arctic's melting. It's not gonna raise the sea levels, but when the ice melts, the sun that reflects off the white ice is instead going to be absorbed by the dark water and it will contribute to the heat expansion on the planet. It's like a J-curve, everything, human consciousness, all this stuff is culminating, nanotechnology, all this, like, the ability to manipulate atoms and sub subatomic structure and the heat, it's all gonna, it's all gonna fire off in one time and it's, Barack Obama's gonna be in office and it's gonna, he's gonna be, have the shit of the world on his plate and I, I'm gonna be there attempting to help society as best I can by communicating, by translating science into everyday conversation, which I believe is possible. And these fucking idiots are in charge. And then, okay, the reason I'm making this video, I was gonna say these fucking idiots are in charge of the country, but they're not, not really in charge. I mean, what does that mean to be in charge? To be in charge is to be the one that people are listening to. So Brad Pitt is in charge. I'm in charge, in a sense. You're in charge. Then I see this 60 Minutes news article. Can lack of sleep make you sick? This is what our society is like. Dude, didn't we learn that 5,000 years ago? And yet we're, we're sitting with dicks in our asses, fucking around, letting humanity die, letting the world, I mean, it's going to fry. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna fry. This is, this is not good for humanity or the rest of animal life or plant life on the planet. It's going to flood or get really hot, or both. Really hot flooding. And it's going to be a lot of disease because hot stagnant water is where bacteria grows. It's great for a planet that doesn't have any life on it because that's how life gets sparked. You get a lot of bacteria and then... But right now, we don't need that. We don't need the ice to melt and the temperature to rise and the plains to flood. We need to keep a balanced temperate climate and stop combusting so much shit. We can combust a little bit of oil and use that heat to produce electricity that we can fire through salt water that we can combust into hydrogen. If you can unlock the power of the atom, you can power the world with water and not pollute the shit out of it not blow up everything. This fucking fire that we're using all the time, fire is great, a little bit of it, but if your house is on fire, it's a problem. If your stove has a fire in it, that's good, you can cook. That's what we should be doing with the planet. I mean, if you leave the phone on the stove on 24 hours a day, it's not good. It's going to burn up the apartment, it's going to burn up the air, it's going to cause sickness in the people. Fuck. Jesus Christ, is this really that, are people really that oblivious to this? Do they just want to run around and have sex? I look away for some reason when I say that, but I think that's a, what people are doing. They want to laugh, drink, and fuck, and eat and sleep and shit. But laugh, drink, and fuck is what American society has turned into. And eat excessive eating, eat shitty food, eat corn, corn syrup. This is corn shit that they put in everything nowadays. They feed the cows corn, which they can't digest. It's high fructose corn syrup. Sugar. MSG. Like, how much sugar do we need? How many soda cans? How many sodas, dude? How many fucking soda companies 
You know, they said they're selling t-shirts in Iraq. Saying stuff like, I served here. I don't know if that's literally... I watched an article last night about a news thing. The capitalism is in Iraq. We don't need to make democracy in Iraq right now. we got to save the planet. Democracy is not the issue. Oil is there. We have oil. There's always going to be oil if we use it sparingly enough. There's always going to be oil, period, even if we kill ourselves. Even if we, we blow up the planet, there's still going to be oil. The earth produces it from the inside. We just have been using and burning it too, too much burning. It's the fucking combustion. It's not the oil. It's the combustion of the oil. God. <sighs> Nuclear fusion and fission is so obviously the way to produce electricity for this population. Come on. How is this even remotely questionable to people in the government? How they're, they're afraid there's going to be another nuclear meltdown like Chernobyl, so they don't do it, so they don't have nuclear power plants? Maybe there will be another meltdown, but it's still we got no choice. Solar power, maybe. But come on, if we can fuse atoms and power a state with a fusion reactor, then let's do it. Build 50 fusion reactors and we'll power the world with it. And then we'll power suits that can charge hydrogen gas and create magnetic fields that we can maneuver in space and on the Earth. We can bypass gravity or we can create a magnetic force that's more powerful than gravity and move through the atmosphere with it. All we need is a power source. The technology's there. The links are there. It can happen. We do it with really small things. We can do it with our bodies. Like, I don't want to freak people out, but I want to get stuff done. And I don't want to see humanity burn. I want to see them fly without these huge metallic jets that burn all that shit. I want to see them fly with clean hydrogen power and magnetism. We can move through it. We don't have to burst out of it. Bursting, man. Jesus. I don't want to... Maybe freaking people out is part of it. If you're freaked out, then maybe that'll inspire you to do something to change this or listen. Listen to your neighbor. Listen to your mom. Listen to your dad. Listen to your son. Listen to your one-year-old son because he'll tell you the truth. Even if he doesn't speak words, look in his eyes and don't talk over him. And don't turn away from him when you get scared of facing yourself in him. Get up. Keep it up. Up and out. And through. Yeah, you know what? Let it spin your mind around. Read a book. Study something. Examine yourself. Stop lying. start being honest.